Hello guys, it's me again, VVV, and welcome to Vietnam. So, is it not a plan anymore? You are here in Hanoi, in Vietnam. So excited. Yes, let's explore my beautiful country together. Yeah, could you say with me, what did you do before coming to Vietnam? Mm, you must have a to-do list, right? Where to stay, where to go, and what to eat. So many things need to be done. Don't worry, I hope my video could help you. Yes, in previous videos, I, I will say information about amazing street food in Vietnam, for example, pho, quen cake, and chang dien ice cream. That this will make your journey in Hanoi more memorable. Yeah, and today, I'm going to talk about a very special and famous dish in Vietnam. Yeah. That this was mentioned on BBC News channel with positive comments. Yeah, and yeah, be Vietnamese people. I'm so proud of my beloved country. Yeah, so what is that food? Yeah, it's a bánh mì. Yeah, the king of street food in Vietnam. The word bánh mì meaning bread, or you can call it the Vietnamese sandwich. Yeah the famous and special sandwich in the world. However, it is not likely the sandwich that you have a Chinese subway station is bánh mì in Vietnam. Yeah. Uh, and now, I am on 34 Lao Tzu Street. Yeah, the six minutes walking from Hoan Kiem Lake. Yeah, and the name of the bánh mì shop is bánh mì Madame Zen. Yeah. Madame Zen had run this shop since 1979. Yeah, 40, 40 years, 40 years ago. Yeah, and this one is seen to be our, uh, the oldest bánh mì shop in Hanoi. Yeah, a small and homely shop in the old quarter. So now, come with me. Yeah. Yes, now is the time about the food you absolutely fall in love with. Yes, in three different regions in Vietnam, the north, the center, and the south, yeah, bánh mì varies greatly in terms of taste. However, bánh mì made in style, Hanoi, Hanoi style, in Hội An style, and in Saigon style, will say lots of commonality. Yeah, you can see bánh mì shop everywhere in the streets of Vietnam uh, and local people treat bánh mì is the most convenient way for their breakfast. Yes, and however, I think bánh mì in Hanoi style is the best. Mm. And are you curious about where and when bánh mì appear in Hanoi in Vietnam? Yes, the, uh, the original bánh mì is Paget. Yeah. Pagets were introduced to Vietnam in the mid 19th century when Vietnam was a part was is a part was a part of France in Indochina, and uh, quickly it's become the staple food and a popular street food in Vietnam. Yes, and following Vietnam War, overseas uh, Vietnamese popularized bánh mì sandwiches in many in some countries, for example, Canada. Australia and United States. Yes, but I'm Vietnamese people, so I think my me in Vietnam is the best. Yes, VB come back. Yes, now we have my me. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, a my me like that. The price for it is twenty five thousand Vietnam dong. It's more than one dollar. Yeah, so I think too cheap. Yeah, too cheap for uh, amazing street food in Vietnam. Yeah, and do you know the key of a good bánh mì? In fact, is a bread. Yeah, why I can say that? So it's so time. Listen. Can you hear that? Yeah, the sound good. Yeah, the bread is must be crunchy. Yes, yeah, must be crunchy. And let's check what inside. Yeah. Let's open the prison. Yeah. Bánh mì is a delicious combination of pardon, 
uh, pets, pork, and veggie. Yeah, I'm talking about cucumber, carrots, and some herbs like that. Yes, and all of that stuff into a soft and crunchy bánh mì. Great. Yeah. Okay, now let's try. Mm. 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 And I told you, the fruit must be crunchy. If the key of a wood like me, and this one is crunchy, so it's good. The best, yeah, the best, quite good. And um, they add some chili, and it will taste better. But I cannot eat chili. Okay. Wow! When traveling to Hanoi, bánh mì is the most amazing street food you have to try. And this is bánh mì, bánh mì Madame Zan. Yeah, the location is definitely convenient. Yeah, 34 long Sioux streets, the 6 minutes walking from Hoa Kim Lake. Yes, and the price, yeah, the price is very reasonable. 25,000 Vietnam of more than one dollar. Yeah, so finally, my vote. Yeah, I vote for it. Three star. And thank you for watching.